Hi guys, welcome to Camp Olivetti. This is the British Exploring Society's 2016 Amazon Expedition Base Camp. We're deep in the Amazon jungle in the Manu National Park, right in the south of Peru. What I want to do is just take you on a little tour of base camp and show you how a big scientific expedition like this is set up and organised so that we can support the scientists and the young people who are on this expedition. So this is our science lab. This is where all the, uh, all the magic occurs in terms of when they're coming back in and they're bringing all their samples and, uh, and, and all, their little, uh, all the little animals and insects that, we, uh, that they capture on the expedition. So these guys now I think are doing some soil surveying and they're, they're testing the soil, testing the things they've brought back from up on the hill uh, to see what's in the soil, see how it's, how it's all made up. Uh, there's also a white box in here where we can put small animals and insects into the white box to take really good high definition photographs of them. Over the back is a massive pile of climbing equipment because one of the big projects here is to climb into the canopy to see where all the wildlife lives in the canopy and, uh, and all the plant life up, up in, the, uh, in the top of the, uh, the rainforest. Obviously we all have to live here for the period of time we're on the expedition. So, so far we've been here for nearly five weeks, collecting data, getting out, climbing up onto the ridge that's behind the camp and exploring the jungle. This is Alice, she's our chief scientist. She's in charge of making sure that all the science data is collected correctly and, uh, and is compiled into the reports that we make at the end of the, uh, end of the expedition. Obviously an expedition with over 70 people on it needs lots and lots of food. So here in stores, in our big storage area, plenty of tubs full of tins, crackers, cereal, porridge, all the stuff that we need to keep ourselves fueled. So that's not just the staff team and the leaders, it's also all the people that are, that are out on the, on the side camps that all need to be supplied for the rest of the expedition. So here, all the, all the food is stored. And at the back of stores, all the stuff over there is all our equipment. So tents, stoves, buoyancy aids for when they're out on the river, and all sorts of other bits and pieces of equipment, spares, tools, all those sort of things that we need to keep the expedition going. So we need to feed everybody on the expedition. And here in the kitchen, this is where all the food is cooked for the base camp staff. So all the leaders and everyone that's around base camp do all their cooking here. Big pots to feed lots of people while they're in base camp. So make sure that we're keeping everybody clean and tidy as well. We make sure that we do all our washing up in here and keep all our slops and all our, uh, our dirty rubbish we, we throw away into, the, uh, into a slops pit on the other side of camp so that we can keep ourselves nice and clean. So this is our three bowl system. So this is again keeps us nice and clean and hygienic. This is where we wash everything. So all the pots and pans are washed here. They're then dipped into this pan which contains uh, bleach like Clorox. Okay, so a, so a chemical to, uh, to, to clean it and then they're dipped in this green one to make sure it's green to go, which is just clean water. And then everything's ready to use again, so we don't get ill. It's really important in the jungle that we're not gonna get ourselves ill. Being one of the leaders on this expedition, I also need to be close to where everything's happening. So, uh, so to make sure that I'm close by to the, uh, to the comms desk in case anything happens to the teams that are out on the hill or out in the jungle exploring, uh, I have my little, uh, little encampment here. So this is where I sleep. So I have my hammock, uh, my, big, my big pile of kit, and then obviously my my jungle boots all sat ready on their, on, their little, uh, on their little spikes to make sure that no spiders or creepy crawlies end up inside. So, uh, so this is where I sleep, this is where, uh, where I've been sleeping for the last four weeks, uh, in fact, on this expedition. Sometimes people do get ill. We're here for a long time, it's a very hot environment, and people sometimes get sick. So we have a couple of doctors on this expedition as well to help us with that, but also we make sure that we have a clinic where the people can come if they're feeling sick or they're feeling ill or get injured. So here, this is our medical centre. This is a medical tent full of medical equipment uh, and, uh, and a stretcher just in case we need it to get people out. And, uh, and this is where our doctors base themselves if they need to, be, need to see, any, uh, see anyone that's, that's feeling ill. Behind that is where all the staff and the leaders of the expedition have their tents and their hammocks. Away from the camp, again to keep us nice and, uh, and safe and, and so that we don't get ill, we put our toilets and our showers a little bit further away. So up that path there is where our toilet is. And our toilet is called a latrine. It's a long trench that we have to do our poo and our pee in. So to make sure that it's out of the way, it's not near our kitchen, it's out of the way of the expedition. So I won't take you up there, but it's, uh, that's where it is up there. And you can see there's no one in it at the moment because that's why the toilet paper's there. If the toilet paper wasn't here, there'll be someone up there. Okay, so that's the end of our tour of base camp here in the Amazon jungle. I hope you found it interesting to see where we live uh, when we do these sort of expeditions and, uh, and support big expeditions doing really important scientific work and learning about what happens here in the jungle. <laughs>